According to a UNICEF and WHO report in 2019, one in three people on Earth did not have free access to safe drinking water. And if nothing changes by 2025, two-thirds of the world's population could face water shortages. Now imagine a technology that would allow one to generate drinking water anywhere, even in the driest places where there is no access to electricity. It could surely change the world for the better, right? Such innovation already exists, and in this video, you will learn about it. Many of us have free access to drinking water. It just flows from the tap. But the reality is that almost 1.1 billion people around the world do not have access to water, and another 2.7 billion experience water scarcity for at least one month of the year. Poor drinking water is a problem for the 2.4 billion who suffer from cholera and typhoid. Diarrheal diseases kill 2 million people each year, the majority of whom are children. And the problem is getting worse. Mankind consumes more and more water, not caring about its renewal, and global warming worsens the situation. Freshwater bodies dry up and become shallow. The Sun Glacier startup from the Netherlands is eager to solve this problem. The idea was born back in 2010 by head designer App Verhegen, who together with his team developed prototypes to find an effective solution. What is the point? When you take a can of drink out of the refrigerator in the summer, its surface is covered with water. This is how condensation works. Water evaporates from the air. And no matter how hot and dry the weather is, absolute, not relative humidity is critical. If there is water in the atmosphere, then it condenses on a cold object. That is, it remains to cool something to a temperature below the dew point and then have enough time to collect water, doesn't it? The Sun Glacier team thought so too when they took the Desert Twins prototype into the desert in Mali in 2017. The Desert Twins consist of two units. The first is a solar battery which accumulates the energy of the sun and transfers it to the second one. The second unit houses a water generator, a structure that cools down to a temperature below the dew point and provokes condensation. The water is then collected in a reservoir. But it turned out that in conditions of extreme temperatures, many factors began to influence the device. The heat reflected by the sand overheated the vehicles and they failed. Gusts of wind dried the condensate. In general, there were numerous flaws in the design. But the most amazing thing is that by fixing problems on the go, the team was able to succeed to collect water. And this is at a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius, relative humidity of 10% and using only the energy of the sun. But this is not the main thing. It is important that they manage to find a more efficient design. After testing in Mali, the Sun Glacier team concluded that their prototype should contain as few moving parts as possible in order to reduce power consumption and increase fault tolerance, and also provide maximum thermal insulation. But the process of generating water itself was mainly changed. Sun Glacier has ditched the usage of the special condensing surface. Instead, the device takes a portion of ready-made water, cools it below the dew point, and then sprays it inside a special cylinder using a spray jet. Water begins to flow down under the influence of gravity and automatically cools the air in the cylinder, causing instant condensation. The volume of water increases very rapidly as large droplets attract more and more moisture, and the water literally falls into the reservoir as a waterfall. How does it work in practice? Watch further. In general, the idea of condensing water from the air in dry regions or in places where there is no access to clean water is not new. It is implemented by many projects, but the biggest disadvantage of most of them is that they require a large amount of electricity. That is, by solving one problem, they create another. But even those that use solar energy have not created efficient low-energy technologies like Sun Glacier did. With the elimination of the condensing element and the revolutionary principle of operation, the Sun Glacier concept has progressed from the prototype stage to the serial production stage. This is how the Dropler 20 was born. This is a portable device made in the body of an aircraft box, which operates from a 24-volt power source. It can be powered from either a line supply or a solar battery. 
At 3 kilowatt hours, it produces up to 3 liters of water and up to 30 liters per day. And this is even in the aridest regions. Now the project is being tested in units of the Dutch Army in various parts of the world. But that's not all of Sun Glacier's amazing innovations. To popularize its technology, the company is involved in incredible projects all around the world. The Dutch National Pavilion was unveiled at Dubai Expo 2022. What do you think it surprised the visitors with? The pavilion fully provided their team and the exhibition's guests with water, extracting it from the hot Dubai air. The central object of the pavilion was a cone-shaped vertical farm 18 meters high. The essence of the object is that a special pipe in the upper part of the cone absorbs air. This absorbs moisture and produces water. The system is powered by solar panels installed on the roof. Thus, the Sun Glacier technology allowed the pavilion to produce up to 1,200 liters of water every day of the exhibition. Part of the collected water was used to treat visitors and another part to irrigate almost 10,000 mint, basil, and tomato bushes planted on the surface of the cone. Thus, the creators wanted to show that it is possible to build vertical farms and supply them with water literally anywhere, even in small areas that lack water. Do you know what Sun Glacier is currently working on? Well, besides trying to scale their technology and spread it to the whole world, thus solving the problem of access to drinking water, App Verhagen got the idea to create a backpack with endless water. After all, what could be more incredible than traveling with a backpack that independently produces drinking water anywhere? Just out, so to say, of thin air. Yes, it sounds like science fiction, but the company has already managed to create the most compact and efficient device for water condensation. So, why not build on the success? In an environment where many people do not have access to clean and healthy drinking water, technology like this can really change the world for the better. It doesn't matter if it will be innovative solutions from Sun Glacier or more traditional versions with condensing surfaces. The main thing is the fast scaling of such devices and their installation around the world. However, it is clear that the Sun Glacier team has worked hard to bring their products as close to this goal as possible. Well, let's wish them success.